We're in Boston tonight where two bombs exploded during the Boston Marathon one year ago today. Shortly after ceremonies marking the anniversary ended this evening, two unattended backpacks were spotted at the marathon finish line. Journalists say police arrested a barefoot man wearing a long black veil who was screaming Boston strong. The bomb squad detonated the backpacks, which reportedly contained rice cookers filled with confetti. Last year's bombs were pressure cookers filled with shrapnel that killed three people and wounded 260 others. Eighty runners from New Mexico were at the Boston Marathon last year. Most will not be back this year. Those who are returning for next week's race and others going for the first time have a wide range of emotions. News 13's Tina Jensen has more about them and what they're feeling. We're doing something that we feel is life affirming, but you just can't help but have that feeling of that this is a serious thing too. Jim Waddell is one of only 15 New Mexico men returning this year after last year's tragedy. Probably have a moment's silence and then you'll start to remember Ooh, it was this time last year that somebody was trying to kill us. For Linda Freeze and her twin sister, it will be their second Boston Marathon. Last year, they were stopped a half mile from the finish line. What do you think it's going to be like on Monday when you cross that point where you were stopped last year? Ooh, I don't know. I've thought about that. If I'm going to cry or something like that, I'm about to cry now thinking about it. Marathons are, I'm used to them. But uh, this is a special one. Albuquerque running coach Gary Schanzer will return this year. He's surprised less than half of New Mexico runners from last year are heading back. Why New Mexicans aren't all going back, I'm not sure. But I'm sure they all have their own reason why they couldn't make it. Most of this year's group of New Mexico runners are first-timers. Always do the double knot. Runners like 65-year-old Kathy Kersling. A month before last year's race, she set her sights on this year's marathon, the tragedy only confirming her commitment to hitting the pavement. My brain is already there. I mean, I, that's all I'm thinking about. Kathy, along with 85 other New Mexico runners, ready to hit Boston's ground running. Tina Jensen, KRQE News 13. Some of the New Mexico runners who are not returning say it's just too emotional for them. Others say it's either too expensive or they're nursing injuries.